How old are you two? Uh, it's been a minute, I think, since I've sat in front of the camera and talked to myself like a madman. So sorry if I suck at that all of a sudden. Not that I was any good at it, but I feel like I'm worse right now. What about summer? So I went to Morocco. I was mainly in Rabat, the city. The, the city. Of course it's a city the capital for several weeks with a program from my university and it was a good time i really enjoyed it i don't think i buy things that often for myself but this trip i was like wow art and cool items that i can't find in the u.s so this will just be a video of me demonstrating how i have no impulse control when it comes to pretty things anyways yeah let's get to it so these first few things are items i got in robot so first is this little glue tagine. Um, while we were in Morocco, we stayed with homestay families and we would eat meals with them. And my homestay family in particular ate from a tagine a lot, which is just the traditional like dish, I guess. We ate from one large tagine that we shared as a whole family. And the tagine was usually like vegetables and a meat. And then we eat it with, with bread or hubs. That was a really big part of I don't know any other family that still has a landline, but mine does. Tagine. <laughs> like eating from a tagine was a big part of my homestay experience. If I could have had it my way, I'd have just brought a whole full-size tagine with me because I wanted to try cooking and one at home. But my bag was barely within the weight limit. You know, it's like 23 kilograms. Mine was 22.6. As I was packing, I was like, dang, I know this is either right on weight or overweight. And we, we survived, boys. I didn't have to pay any, any fees, so that was nice. It's a very pretty shade of blue. I really like blue things. If it's, if things like some piece of art or, or ceramics um, and is blue, I, I, I can't. Yeah. Similar note, here's another just little like dish. Also a really pretty shade of blue. So the tagine is like pretty simple. It's like, it's just a glaze, but this one's got shapes carved into it. I like the feeling. They're, they're gonna go on my little art window in my dorm room when I get back to campus. This I bought on the same day as the tagine. In the same like little spend all the remaining money I have extravaganza. This little stone cat. This will fit along well with the little collection of like cat assorted items I'll, I have, so. Cat, another thing I can't help myself when it comes to. Okay, we have this plank of wood. This is a painted plank of wood. It's yellow and it's got green, blue, red, pink details on it around. Morocco, you would see a lot of like painted intricate detailing on wood like this or mosaics. So I knew I wanted those two kind of things. That was just art I saw a lot. So yeah, I got this. I don't know what I'm, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but yeah, I, I really like it. I got this outside a cafe in the robot Caspa that I, I frequented a lot because it was, I'll throw up like a picture of the view from the cafe. Yeah, it's pretty. Everything that I got, like, I kind of have some sort of memories attached to it. Except for the cat, I get- Oh, well, no, there were a lot of cats in Morocco. That's the memory. Along the same note, I also got, as I mentioned, there were a lot of mosaics. Just, um, tiling around Morocco, like in fountains, on the walls, floors, stuff like that. I wanted to bring a little piece of that back with me. Got these two together at the same place. It's a little circle of- of tile pretty colors they kind of go oh, yeah they, they go they go together i'll say they go together just to say that i know how to match the items i, I tried to also think about in the grand scheme of things how the items i buy look together i plan on displaying them side by side so i think yeah like these colors kind of all they're all they all got some sort of blues they all complement each other which i like next tea is a really big part of rock and culture and just like how you socialize with people and, and spend time with others. I'm not a big tea or coffee drinker. I like both of them. I, I'm not the kind of person who drinks tea every day, but there I was, you were drinking tea every day, which uh, honestly I didn't, I ended up not minding. I really, I liked the like social aspect of it and like how it's just like, it was a way that you could sit down with other people and talk and drink tea. So this is a little teapot. I think it's really simple. Wow, you can see a reflection of our mess of a room in that. Ah, don't zoom in. I bought a accompanying set of like six teacups. 
am I doing this right? Like a haul, I, I guess this is kind of like a haul video. I've never done this before. Whoops. I don't know if I'm doing this in a very organized, comprehensive fashion, but this is what we're gonna get because I never plan things, I'm sorry. And then these are teacups with gold detailing. They're very pretty. It's a cute little set to go with the teapot. So next, uh, one of the cities we visited was Fez. They have a, ta a large tannery there where they make leather and stuff. It was cool to see the process. In Fez, I bought this purse uh, that I do not have on me right now, but imagine. Anyways, along with the purse, they gave me this little like coin purse container. It's really cool. It, it folds on into like a little square. You can open it and put coins in there. So these are the coins I was playing with earlier. Yeah. When I first got it, I didn't think I'd actually use it, but it came in handy quite a lot because a lot of the stuff that like I'd buy on a daily basis, like food or whatever, was just like a few deer hum, and I would only need a few coins for that. So I used this to carry around some coins with me wherever I went. Came in really handy. Next, we have this box. It was a gift for my brother. This one we got when we went to Tangier. It's like a puzzle box, so from all angles, it looks the same, and then from, you can open it like that. So I already handed this off to my brother when I asked him to, if I could grab it real quick to show off in the video. He's already put some coins in it. Cool box. Nice. There's no significance to me getting this other than I wanted it for my brother. Next, one of the other cities we visited was Marzuga. Throughout the trip, we spent a lot of time visiting local NGOs and cooperatives. I got this from a local cooperative that specialized in providing us preschool for kids and also providing literacy and like embroidery sewing. They were selling some things there and I got it because it's so pretty. It's a little pillowcase. I like the colors quite a lot and just the design. But we're ready for the, the big the big boys. One of the last cities we visited was Chef Shawin and it's known as the Blue City because yeah, it's pretty freaking blue. There were a lot of rug and blankets shops. So guess what I got? A uh, rug and a blanket. So first I'll show you the, the blankets. It's um, pretty sure it's cotton. Yeah, so this cotton um, woven blue, black, and white. One of my favorite con color combinations. It's so pretty. Look, look at it, look at it, look at it. It's, it got, it's got stripes and then and then it's got these little designs and it's so, I really like it. I'm thinking I might just use it as like a, a throw over my bed in my dorm or possibly a rug. Cause it's, it's like pretty thick with three C's material and would hold up as a rug. This is a nice blanket. I'm very happy with this. This was one of the pricier things I got, but stripes, blue, blue, white and black. I just, I gotta. Okay. And last, I got this rug. It still smells like the rug shop, but anyways. Ta-da! Isn't she beautiful? It's a woven and embroidered um, wool and cotton rug. It's more, yeah, I think it's like a small size, more of like a runner. I don't know how long things are. Is this three feet? Does this look three feet? What's my arm span? Four feet? Who knows? <laughs> I'm so bad at measuring. It's so pretty. And this blend of these blues, white and red, um, and it's got green in there too. I really like the depth of the colors in it. It's very like geometric, traditional patterns. The longer you look at it, like the more colors you see, and it's so pretty and I'm very happy. I bought it even though like I was like, I'm not gonna buy a rug. I'm not that kind of adult yet, but uh, guess what? I am. I think if I went to Morocco, even just two years ago, I wouldn't have bought these two babies. Well, yeah, maybe that's just a sign of growth. I kind of view everything I got as art in some way. Little things to help me remember what I did and what I saw and, and experiences I had in Morocco. As a recap, look at these small items. They're so cute. I gotta say, really like the rugs and then all the small items. Um, I'm very fond of the mosaic tile just because walking around and seeing just intricate designs and patterns of, of the stone and mosaics everywhere was, they, they were just so pretty. And I wanna bring that back with me. So I'm, I'm grateful to have like this just like small piece as a keepsake. Thank you for watching. I hope I was able to also tell a few stories with this video and describe why each of these items was of importance and like the story behind them. Yeah, thank you for watching.